And then we got Slay Oliva. Slays again. Well, obviously, when it came to the whole sell Zack Snyder's Justice League, sell, sell the Snyderverse to, to Netflix, um, you know, I didn't take part in it. Like I said, if you wanted to take part in it, I didn't, I wasn't going to be like, no, no, no. I even had conversations with people after posting, after uh, quote tweeting the Wayne T. Carr and Zack Snyder image that he posted some people were just going just tweet the hashtag man and i went no i'm not going to i don't i think it's a very poorly thought out campaign which it is um but i, I thought okay if you want to do it fine and i'm sure it got close to like 200k or whatever the hell it was or maybe 150k not sure what the final tally was i remember i saw it was above 150k and maybe close to that uh, we got Clay Staub, who posted this very image right here, said, nice to see an old friend, and he brought his flying fox, too. Remember when everybody kept on everybody kept on sending me Clay Clay's tweets because they thought that he knew things and he was hinting at things like Zach kind of does? That, that kind of stopped. I think he finally realized that, hey, guys, I'm not, I don't know what's going on with Snyderverse stuff. But uh, And then we had Jay Oliva right here talking about this he responded he said i'm uh because somebody asked dude i'm a big fan of ben affleck ben affleck's batman and it's really disheartening that we will not get to see joe manganello joe, joe manganello's deathstroke and batman movie can you at least ask someone to provide script of that movie jay oliva and then jay oliva responds as he does or slay oliva we should say he said i'm sorry but i don't own the script nor do i know who would have that kind of power the script is owned by wb and only they can do that as far as i know and then somebody else asked he said well jay oliva we are working on it <laughs> don't worry jay we got it we're tweeting um <clears throat> We started a little trend called sell, well, of course, the hashtag, sell the Snyderverse. As Zach said, hopefully cooler hands would prevail. Either way, we are thrilled to see what you got up your sleeves with the upcoming pro projects. And he goes, thanks. Good luck with that. But I highly doubt it because WB will not want a competing universe studio to their main one. Plus, the licensing fees involved would be too high to make any business sense unless they were buying the characters like Sony did to spidey he continues on saying uh he said uh and we will know that wb has plans for these characters so they aren't going to take a deal like that marvel sold spidey during a time of bankruptcy wb isn't there and i doubt wb isn't there and i doubt they would do such a deal in today's climate so there you go Jay Oliva just kind of doing that. And, of course, people are not happy about it, which I'm kind of going like, all right, yeah. Because what does Jay Oliva know? You know, he only worked on storyboards for Zack Snyder, Man of Steel, BBS, uh, maybe some uh, with Justice League and everything, and kind of knew everything that was going on and helped with the whole Snyder Cut thing and believed in that campaign. And he's also directed many DCAU movies. But what does he know? I'm sure the normal chuckleheads over there, because I remember one time, the Scoopsy Daisies, when he kind of debunked some scoops, they're like, what does Jay Oliva? No, he doesn't know anything. He's just a storyboard artist. No, he knows a lot. He knows way more than you. So, but again, if you want to freaking tweet it out, tweet it out. Fine. It's, it's whatever. But uh, to the people that are getting mad at Jay Oliva again, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Don't get mad at him, please.